Well, our men and women in uniform did actually accomplish a great deal. And the most significant, of course, was keeping us safe here at home for the two decades. When we were hit on September 11th, back in uh, you know 2001, many of us thought we would be hit again in very short order and probably would have been and possibly multiple uh, times and could have suffered catastrophic uh, losses. But uh, the sacrifices that our brave men and women made uh, in Afghanistan and Iraq as well um, kept us safe for those 20 years. And I guess that's why it's so tragic to see uh, so much of that thrown away for the future because we are now vulnerable again. I think we it's a very serious threat and one we ought to take very seriously because at this point, we now have a safe haven once again for terrorists uh, to basically plot against us and our allies across the globe. You're going to have not only the Taliban, you're going to have Al-Qaeda, you're going to have ISIS, potentially Boko Haram, and a whole bunch of other terrorist organizations all across the globe who will now be able uh, to get their best practices together. And best practices means terrorists, how to kill the most people. Uh, now they have a safe haven, once again, to operate out of. Well, because of uh, Biden's blunder here, uh, they're completely in control now in, in that country. So who else are you going to negotiate or deal with at this point? They run the country. Um, that didn't have to happen, and it shouldn't have happened. But unfortunately, that's where we're at now. Well, we ought to do everything possible. Uh, the problem is, uh, at this point, uh, we're in so much of a weaker position, and we're talking about 20 million or so women and girls in Afghanistan who are facing literally slavery now. And again, this did not have to happen. So their, their uh, security um, is basically in the hands uh, of the good graces of the, of the Taliban. And, and we know the Taliban doesn't have good graces. Well, that's one of the most disgraceful things, the betrayal of those who worked with us, put their lives on the line with our men and women in uniform, and now they're at risk and their families are at risk as well. Some have already been killed. Um, what I think is likely to happen is Afghanistan is probably going to go dark uh, in the very near future. Right now, they're acting like they're, well, they're just fine. They want to cooperate, work with us, and everything's going to be hunky-dory. That's not going to happen. You know, it's probably going to look like another North Korea or Cuba. Uh, one of those places that's dark and people just disappear and their whole families disappear. That's what people who put their lives on the line and work with us are facing. So we ought to do everything we possibly can to get them out uh, and get them to safety. But uh, that should have been planned over months and months, not just uh, willy nilly at the, at the 11th hour here and not really considered. And, and that's the shame of this whole thing is this did not have to happen. It shouldn't have happened. And so many people are at risk now because of it. So it's a, it's a debacle of epic proportions.